So I'm on the set, so I make my way all the way to the director and I and I grab him for a second and say, Hey John, it's Mick from National Treasure 2, how are you, man? And he, he goes, Hey, hey, how are you? Shakes my hand and walks away. So I go, really? Like, that's it? We traveled the world for eight fucking months. We were so fucking close. Rap parties, everything. We like fucking partied every day. The coolest guy. He's, I was the only one he got along with at, towards the end of the movie. So I'm like so disappointed. I'm like, I can't believe he doesn't recognize me. He forgot me or he's being so cold. He's playing such a big shot. You know? And a few days later, we're inside the ARIA shooting Las Vegas. And there's a bunch of extras. I'm waiting to make my fucking cross. And uh, I see him doing this. Mick? What the hell? Mick! Mick! And in front of everybody, all the movie stars, all the fucking extras, picks me up. Fucking, just, it's just buddy buddy time. And he goes, dude, was that you a couple days ago? Dude, I thought you were some fan who was thanking me for giving you National Treasure because I was a fucking creator. I go, fuck you, John. You anyway, never told me if you, how many times you talked to him on the set of uh, uh, the every Nicholas Kidd. Nick would be acting, and me and him would be backstage, like on the video village, and we'd run. So what, he fucking... dissed you? I thought he like, I thought he's like, dissing. Yeah. He but felt that, that vibe. He felt he intimidated. He never remembered. He didn't remember. I looked completely different. Obviously. Right. Right. And then I guess someone was glaring at his glasses, and he thought I was just a guy. Because a lot of people walk up to him and thank him for the national presence. Wow. Just another great story, Thanks. Mick. <laughs>